Today our topic is a superior vena cava block after the entry of zygous vein and before. First we study the after the entry entry of zygous vein. When the zygous vein enters in the superior vena cava blocks, then what happens? The what will be the blood flow? So if the SVC superior vena cava is blocked, then the blood flow will go into the brachiocephalic vein. Then from the brachiocephalic vein it goes into the subclavian vein. The sub, then the subclavian after the subclavian vein it goes into the axillary vein. After the axillary vein, it goes into the lateral thoracic vein. Then the lateral thoracic vein goes into the thoracoepigastric vein. And after the thoracoepigastric vein, it goes into the superficial epigastric vein. And after that, it goes into the scleral saphenous vein. And after that, it will go into the femoral vein because the uh, femoral vein is formed from the saphenous vein. Then after the femoral vein, it goes into the inferior vena cava. From the inferior vena cava, it goes into the heart and then it's right atrium. So you can see that if the SVC is blocked, the blood may can flow from the inferior vena cava to the heart if there is SVC block after the entry of a zygous vein. Superior vena cava is blocked after the entry of vena zygous, zygous vein. If superior vena cava is blocked, and first we have the scene after, then we have the before. Before the entry of zygous vein, the association of the superior vena cava before entry, then blood goes into the a venous blood of upper limb goes into the upper limb, then the axillary vein. After the axillary vein, it goes to, go to the sub uh, scapular vein. After the sub scapular vein, it goes to the circumflex scapular vein. After the circumflex scapular vein, it goes to the anastomosis around the scapula. Scapular anastomosis goes to the anastomosis. Then it communicates with the intercostal veins. After the intercostal vein, it goes to the venous zygus. And after the venous zygus, it goes to the superior vena cava and right atrium. If the blockage of the after the superior vena cava, before entry of the venous zygus vein, then the blood flows from the venous zygus to the superior vena cava because the uh, blockage take place before entry of venous so all the blood will go into the venous zygus and then into the superior vena cava and the right atrium thank you